Okay. Hello, YouTube. It's KC9CUK. I haven't uh, done a video in a while here. Um, <clears throat> been pretty busy working on a new electronics lab slack shack, so there'll be a lot of videos to come here. Anyway, just a quick video here. Um, a friend of mine stopped by and wanted to uh, solder something, and so I went ahead and took care of it, and he said he's going to get some soldering equipment. He was asking a bunch of questions, so I sent him on his way with some solder, and he said I should make a YouTube video about that. And this is just a cool way to have a, some spare solder and some flux with you, either in like uh, a portable toolbox or stored in your car, like in the glove box or something like that. Anyway, here is how I do it. I take a regular uh, Bic pen here. It's just, uh, this is a free, free pen I get from my bank there. Here's a free plug from my bank there, Home State Bank. Anyway, um... Yeah, so you just pop the cap off, and preferably you want to use one that doesn't work anymore. And I just take the, go ahead and take the uh, the uh, ink ink element out, and you can throw this in the trash. Okay, and then you're just left with uh, one end that has a little uh, plug, and the rest of it is hollow, and you have your cap. So what I do is I take this and <clears throat> I take some solder and some flux um, and what I do is you can do two things you can either drill two little holes um, in the end of this uh, which you would drill it in the uh, in the end where the the rosin goes uh, or or you can just uh, do it like I do it. I, I don't even bother. I just use the cap to kind of hold it on. So all I do is I take the solder and I just roll it on really quickly. And this is not good solder. This is solder I had that I got free in a bag of stuff that someone had given to me. This is not solder I would use on any repair or restoration work. Um, it's not total, totally bad, but I prefer Kessler or uh, other name brand uh, particular solder. So anyway, you roll it on there, and you can keep on squinching it up like that. So you can get quite, quite a bit of solder on there. And yeah, you just keep on rolling, keep on rolling, and just make sure you don't overlap like I just did. And you get the idea. So we're not going to continue here. We'll just kind of take this off real quick. Set this off to the side. So you can you, it hold quite a bit of solder. So you go ahead and just, you know, now you've got this as your solder to go ahead and just go ahead and do your work. Um, and then as far as the rosin goes, you'll notice you have that open spot. What I do is I just take my little, little jar of uh, solder paste and I don't put a lot in there, just kind of jam uh, some in there and wipe the excess off like so. And then you can go ahead and throw your cap on. And a cap does two things. A, it keeps your rosin safe. And then what I like to do is slide the solder up underneath the pen clip there. And that holds it from, from falling off uh, the pen. So anyway, just a quick tip um, on how to you know have, some, have a little portable solder slash rosin storage in your toolbox or in your go bag or something like that. And then in order to get that paste out, you've got this little really convenient you've got the little uh, pocket holder and you can you can take your your rosin out and put it on whatever you're working on and then clean it off when you're done of course and uh, you know so yeah it works, works works really slick and it's it's a nice it's a nice uh, quick easy way to have some portable solder anyway this is Casey Nights UK I hope you uh, enjoyed the video please like and subscribe now that I've got uh, you can see a new workbench here and there'll be a whole new uh, electronics lab uh, coming in the future so we'll be doing lots of videos pertaining to uh, restorations of antique radios and ham related videos so I hope you enjoy like I said subscribe share the video have a great day